Hi everyone, doing my favorite thing. This time it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And this book was Donlan's from Merry Christmas Donlan, Love, Grandma and Grandpa, Christmas 1988. So let's read. Long ago there lived a princess named Snow White. She was a beautiful princess and liked all princesses she lived in a castle. See the castle way up there? Her stepmother, the queen, also lived in the castle. The queen had a magic mirror. Every day she looked into the mirror and asked the same thing. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? The mirror always gave her the same answer. Oh, queen, you are the fairest one of all. But one day the mirror had a different answer. Snow White is the fairest in the land, it said. The proud queen became very angry. She wanted to be the one, the most beautiful lady in the land. The queen sent for the woodsman. Take Snow White away, she told him. She must never come back to the castle. You must kill her. There's the mirror. The woodsman took Snow White into the woods, but he could not kill the sweet princess. He loved her too much. Instead, he said, run away, child, quickly. You must hide from the queen. She wants to kill you. Snow White ran through the woods as fast as she could. It was very dark under the trees, and she heard scary noises, but still she ran on. Uh, at last, Snow White could run no more. She fell to the ground and cried herself to sleep. Two rabbits hopped up to sit by Snow White. A little bird flew down and sang to her. Then two deer came to stand beside her, and a raccoon and a turtle sat by her feet. Snow White awoke and sat up. She was not afraid anymore. The friendly animals led her along a little path. Soon they came to a small house. Snow White tapped on the door. Is anybody home, she cried. Look at all the animals. The animals pushed open the door. Snow White followed them into the house. She saw a table and seven little chairs. There were also seven little bowls. My goodness, she said, seven little children must live here. I wonder where they are. She went into the kitchen. What a mess. There were dirty dishes everywhere. These are certainly seven messy little children, she said. I think I will clean their house for them. Then perhaps they will let me live here with them. See the little bowls? <gasps> Look at all those dirty dishes. Do you help your mother and father wash the dishes? Snow White got down on her hands and knees and cleaned the floor. Then she washed all the dirty dishes. The deer and rabbit helped her. When the cleaning was done, Snow White and the animals went upstairs. There she found seven little wooden beds. Snow White laid down and soon fell fast asleep. There she is washing the dishes and the floor. And then upstairs she went. Not far away, seven little men were climbing out of a cave. They had been working there all day, digging diamonds. Ooh, I like diamonds. Now it was time to go home. 
As they walked through the woods, they sang, Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home from work we go. The seven dwarfs walked up to the very house where Snow White was sleeping. It was their house. There's a light in our house, said one. Somebody must be in there, said another. Look at that big cave that they're in. Here they come. They were a little scared. Quietly, they crept into the house. They looked all around. The floor is clean, said one of them. The dishes have been washed, said another. Who do you suppose did this? Asked a third. One by one, the dwarfs tiptoed up the stairs. Perhaps somebody was hiding up there. They pushed against the door. Suddenly it opened and the dwarfs fell into the bedroom. The noise woke up Snow White. She set up her eyes wide open. Oh my, she said, you are not children. You are little men. That is right, said one of the dwarfs, but who are you? I'm Snow White, she said. They're all standing there looking at her. Ooh. I'm Doc, said the dwarf with eyeglasses. He seemed to be the leader. I'm happy, said the little man with the big smile. And my name is Grumpy said the one who had the grouchy face. I'm bashful, said the fourth dwarf. He did not look at Snow White. He was twisting his beard. I'm Sneezy, said the next one, between sneezes. My name is Sleepy, said the sixth dwarf. And that's Dopey, he added, pointing to the little man beside Snow White. He never says anything. There's the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven dwarfs took Snow White downstairs. It was getting late and they were very hungry. Snow White cooked supper for everybody. It was easy with so many people to help. This is the best food I ever ate, said Happy. Even Grumpy did not look as grumpy as usual. It was just like having a party with Snow White at the table. Look at all of them. Eating. Later that night, the dwarfs sat in a circle around Snow White. The princess told the little men about the wicked queen who wanted to kill her. Oh, Snow White, you must stay here and live with us, said Dot. We will hide you from the queen. The next morning, the dwarfs went off to work. Snow White waved goodbye to them. Don't let anybody in, Dot told her. The queen may be looking for you. There she waves goodbye. But the queen was not looking for Snow White. She was looking into her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Now who's the fairest of them all, she asked. The mirror answered, in the house of the seven dwarfs, Snow White still lives. She is the fairest one of all. Snow White still lives, cried the angry queen. We'll see about that. She rushed down the steep and winding stairs to a secret room under the castle wall. Ooh, look at her. What's she up to? Ooh. In the dark place, the queen grabbed a dusty bottle from the shelf. She took a long drink from the old bottle. Poof! She turned into an ugly witch. 
Then the witch took two more bottles, a green bottle and a red one. She poured them into a big iron pot. She was making a magic brew. Next, the old witch dipped an apple into the pot. One taste of this, she said, and Snow White's eyes will close forever. Look, look, she turned into being somebody really ugly. The witch took the magic apple to the house of the seven dwarfs. There she found Snow White with her animal friends. All along, my pet said, the wicked witch. Here, take one of my lovely apples. Thank you, said Snow White, and she took a big bite. Look, there she is with all the animals. And there she is taking a big bite of that apple. Suddenly she fell to the ground. Her eyes were closed as if in a deep sleep. Ha! cried the wicked witch. My spell has worked. Snow White sleeps. I hope she sleeps forever. The queen did not see all the animals running off into the woods. There she is, sound asleep. The animals ran to the cave of the seven dwarfs. Something is wrong said Doc. Snow White must be in trouble, said Happy. The seven dwarfs raced home to help the princess. The wicked witch saw the dwarfs coming. She began to run. She ran so fast she didn't look where she was going, and that was the end of her. Look, she fell off a cliff. Ooh. The dwarfs found Snow White in a deep sleep. Wake up, said Doc, tugging at her hand. Wake up, please wake up, cried the others. But no matter what they did, they could not wake the princess. The dwarfs made a beautiful golden bed. They put Snow White on it. Day after day, they watched over her. Day after day, they placed flowers on her. And still the princess slept. There she is, sound asleep, and there's the golden bed. Time passed, then one day a prince came riding his horse into the woods. He had heard of the princess who lay sleeping there in her golden bed. The handsome prince found the sleeping princess. He saw that she was more beautiful than the flowers around her bed. He bent down and kissed her. Snow White opened her eyes. At last the wicked spell was broken. She sat up smiling at the handsome prince. How the dwarfs cheered. How they laughed and danced and sang. The prince put Snow White on his horse and carried her off to his castle. There they were married and lived happily ever after, and the seven dwarfs came often to visit at their castle. Wasn't that a nice story? And here's the seven dwarfs. There is Sleepy and Bashful and Dopey and Grumpy and dark, and sleepy, and happy. That was a nice story. Bye.